beautiful, Miss Tui. Did you bring it all the way from Japan? Look, a real Japanese lantern. Oh, it's a fish, all made out of paper. Oh, I wish I could go to Japan. You do? Yes, and those shoes are so funny. Yeah, they must be hard to wear. Oh, Miss Tui, are there really Girl Scouts in Japan? Yes, indeed there are. Oh, tell us about them. That's why I came to your meeting. You see, the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts sent me to Japan to help reestablish Girl Scouting there. It's quite a story. Girl Scouts in Japan today are looking forward to becoming once more part of our World Association. Whenever I showed them our World Association flag, they wanted to know all about Girl Scouts in other lands, and I told them. To be sure, there were Girl Scouts in Japan before the war, but not very many only about 400 in the whole country. Today, there are 2,000, five times as many. And there will be lots more, I'm sure, because the girls themselves like scouting so much. They are especially interested to know that scouting is going on in many parts of the world, and that there's even an international handshake. Although Japanese girls are really very much like girls everywhere, on special holidays they do observe age-old customs which are more like the Japan of storybooks and travel posters. On New Year's Day, for example, the girls dress up in their most beautiful kimonos and play traditional games to celebrate the New Year. Until very recently, New Year's Day in Japan was everybody's birthday. And no matter when a girl was really born, she was a year older on New Year's Day. But most of the time, Japanese Girl Scouts don't dress in kimonos and play traditional games. They spend their time learning things that all girl guides and Girl Scouts learn. First aid, for example. Doctors and nurses in Japan are interested in scouting too and take time off to give the girls lessons. Every troop has two leaders who help the girls in organizing their activities and meetings. Today in Japan, leaders are friends who help the girls run their own affairs and scout meetings and activities give them practical experience in making democracy work. The girls are learning to plan their hikes themselves in the democratic informality and comradeship of their Girl Scout troop. Trail signs are an international language and Japanese scouts use the same ones that girl guides and girl scouts all over the world have learned. Three stones placed on top of each other mean the same thing to them as they do to us. And often, just as we do, they make a hike into a game of hare and hounds by dividing the troop into two groups, one to mark the trail and the other to find it. The group that follows the trail is always careful to remove the markers and leave things neat. Japanese scouts have a great love of nature and the beauty of the outdoors. On a hike, they often stop to admire a view or even to write a poem about it. Just before lunchtime, the first group always waits for the second group to catch up.
Japanese scout's lunch box doesn't contain sandwiches and an apple. Like most Japanese meals, it is mostly rice, flavored with bits of chopped vegetables and fish. A little while after lunch, the girls play games. One of them is not so different from our game of blind man's buff. Mostly the games they play are simple ones, calling more for imagination than for elaborate equipment. Scout is thrifty, and some Japanese girls learn to make their own sandals as part of their scouting activities. Straw is plentiful, while leather is both scarce and expensive in Japan because so few cattle are raised there. The girls are very clever with their hands because from an early age they are taught to make many practical and ornamental things. Scouting encourages them to develop their skills and to have fun doing it, too. A troop meeting in Japan is very much like one in the United States. It looks different because there are no chairs and the table is very low, but the leaders are there and so is the scout spirit. The differences aren't really so great when we get to know people, and writing letters is one way of making friends around the world. A troop I visited wrote a letter and asked me to deliver it to a troop here in the United States. I've chosen your troop, and here's the letter. not the end of the story because all of you and every girl guide and girl scout in the world are part of the story a story that won't be finished until we really have international peace and friendship between all the nations in the world I'm going to answer that letter right now let's all answer it Dear Tamiko, we were glad to get your letter. We'd like to be friends with you, too. 